I love the networking. I love the ability to talk to folks who are kind of in the same situation as I've been in and to share experiences with them. And I'm going to talk about three big phases that innovation goes through in companies. Some innovations will lend themselves to wanting one way to proceed and other innovations will lend themselves to another way. You almost have to modify your process based on the idea. The idea dictates how you proceed. It could be called R&D, you could have people called innovation, you could have part-time innovators, but there's a capability, you've recognized it, it's functioning, it's a place where you can go to have ideas, to share ideas, to try to launch ideas. It's a capability within the organization. I think a structured process is critical to implementing innovation. If you're not integrated with the process, you're not gonna get your ideas through. When the organization has ideas, they toss them over the fence to the capability and say, here you go, here's my idea. It's up to scale in terms of sophistication and value added, but it's not the nirvana. The nirvana is innovation as a system. I think that people are the most important factor in innovation. You can do innovation without a process by the heart and the soul and the innovation spirit of people who want to carry that idea. You can't do it without people. It's part and parcel of the way you do business in the organization. It's the culture. This is when you don't really need an innovation officer. You don't need people with innovation tags because everybody's the innovation officer. Everybody wakes up in the morning, looks in the mirror like I used to and say, I can change this company.